students at the University of Sheffield are continuing to lead the Steel City's reputation for innovation by nurturing tomorrow's engineers in their world-class research facilities. Our reporter, John Gibson, went to meet them. A lot's resting on the shoulders of these engineering students, even if they don't know it yet. According to the Royal Academy of Engineering, the UK will need more than a million new engineers and technicians by 2020. Sheffield has been at the heart of engineering innovation since the Industrial Revolution. And now the University of Sheffield is building on that engineering heritage. With facilities that match the ambitions of 21st century engineering students. This is the Diamond, a modern multidisciplinary engineering building. It's the university's largest ever investment in learning and teaching, demonstrating a commitment to producing world-class engineers. Everything that goes around that makes your life so much more easier is done by engineers, so we do need engineers. I wanted to change how the world worked, and for me, engineering sums that up perfectly. What are you producing today on the machine? Today I'm making some test cubes out of an alloy called Pascal OX. Charlotte Boyg's working with industrial partner Cummins Turbo Technologies to develop new ways of manufacturing vehicle components. Additive manufacturing, very similar to 3D printing, is where successive layers of material are laid down under computer control. Charlotte is working with Nickel Super Alloy to manufacture her components. The powder is deposited on the platform and then a laser scans the first layer of powder which melts that layer and the process repeats. So we're gradually building up a three-dimensional component from two-dimensional slices. Working with people like Charlotte allows us to mentor them throughout the PhD, NGD process and allows us to get a very good research output at the end of the work. The technology that we're developing here at the University of Sheffield will be used in a real-life product in the not-too-distant future. Sheffield's innovative reputation continues to thrive through pioneering research projects. And in fact, 93% of its engineering research has been rated world-leading or internationally excellent. Its new facilities in the Diamond underpin the research-led teaching and have doubled the number of engineering students that can be taught here. This country has such a desperate shortage of engineers, we need to be able to educate more of them. But we know that people learn and study and have aspirations at all sorts of different levels. We've got a high-class apprenticeship scheme that feeds off the research the university does, particularly in manufacturing. I think we need to be talking to uh, kids in primary school about what engineering is and what engineers do, particularly to girls in primary school. They make up half the population. They should be half the engineers. And that's why I've come to Grenaside Community Primary School, where this group of 10-year-olds are engrossed in a new book, created and written by the University of Sheffield's Women in Engineering Society. He looked amazed, excited and terrified all at the same time, which was not how they expected a grown-up by an engineer to react. Susie and Ricky is the story of two friends who found an alien and team up with engineers from different disciplines to build a rocket to fly him home. It's amazing how many questions and how many good questions kids have even at eight, nine years old um, about engineering and about the, trying to understand the world around them. The book was developed to encourage young children, especially girls, to think about engineering as an exciting career option. By the time a child is 10 to 14 years old, they kind of decided already what they really like. They decided, I don't want to do sciences or I don't want to do history. So by now, is there really the time to get ideas popped into their minds, really get spark their interest a bit. By using outreach activities with primary schools and investing in state-of-the-art facilities, the University of Sheffield is inspiring and developing tomorrow's engineers to tackle the biggest challenges facing the modern world.